so thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for joining. Um, so I'm Stefan. Um, I just flew from Europe to, uh, to see you guys and uh, to present uh, what we uh, what we have to offer, but basically um, to uh, introduce you um, about the concept of the data and how to use data to actually optimize and run your business better. Um, if I speak too fast or if I'm not clear enough, um, please let me know. Um, if I have to do it in Thai, it's going to take like two days, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> All right. So. Right now, um, data is considered as a raw material for, um, for your business. I mean, um, really, data could be considered as the new oil for, for the online business or for like the mobile, mobile game business. How many of you are like mobile game developers? And uh, how many of you like actually publish games, run their own games? All right, I mean like, so I'm gonna take the marketing angle of it, but usually, but really, you can use data um, even as a, as a developer to uh, actually run your game better. Um, using those data to understand your user would help you to uh, create your game uh, upon what your user really wants. Um, it's all about like you creating the best product, but also perfecting it to the right audience. Um, a little bit of who we are. Um, so Coachella, we're like a, we're working with uh, a lot of like big big brands right now. Um, we're a U.S. based company. Um, we have an office in uh, in Singapore. Uh, the brands like uh, APAC, um, but also we have a presence in Europe, um, but also China and Japan and uh, Korea. A little bit of numbers, and then I'm not going to go too uh, too deep into who we are. But basically, um, we have about six billion devices uh, IDs in our user base. Um, we cover uh, more than 246 countries and territories, so we have a global coverage. Um, we work with the the biggest and most of the activation partners, meaning like uh, the people, like the companies who can who on which you're putting your ads. We're working with them. Um, we also um, about like we're tracking every month about 100 billion uh, transaction, so all those is processing through our service through our system, and uh, we also have like although we have this huge amount of transaction that we are uh, tra um, um, processing, we also have the fastest response time. To go like uh, to to uh, to jump right into what the data can do for you, um, can data can help you to um, save money uh, while controlling the fraud, also optimize your uh, campaign so in a way that you would um, spend your uh, money uh, in the in the in a smarter way. So really working on the return on investment, increase your user engagement and LTV, meaning like getting more out of your users keeping them in the game, keeping them engaged, while you're, it's, it's hard, or it's already hard to get them in, but you, once they're in, you should really keep them in the game, engaged. And then the targeting um, in a way that you would understand your user. And if you understand your user, you could target them better and know where you're gonna get them. So fraud, uh, fraud is a huge topic. Um, because if you look at it, like, even if you're using like the biggest network, you still have like a lot of fraudulent clicks. Meaning, like your your um your bar, your your money, the money that you spend is actually wasting. Um, you see all those numbers. Um, that means like, right now, even the biggest uh, publishers, either they cope with it or they have like to 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 do something against it. It's the billions of dollars that are wasted. Um, in uh, in spending money. And uh, the fraud doesn't go, go through like the whole um, journey from uh, the click to install to even like after in the install, getting like uh, when you're tracking some events. The good news is like there is a way to run against it and then you can identify the fraud, you can protect the fraud and customize your, um, the rules upon your own game. That means like there is no rule that fits all, but at least you have a minimum base in which you should work against, but then you can also tighten your security and your fraud system 
in which sometimes you don't want to have it too tight because you still want to have like user coming. But if you want to really want to control, then you, we have ways to, to do it. So the smarter uh, company optimization, again, um, we have developed uh, different tools to help you customize your, your campaigns through a configurable attribution. Um, so really understand where you're getting your, your users and how, we, how you buy them. Um, and also through a robust data signaling to your media partners, really getting um, the, the data from the people who are actually on which you are working with to, to, get, your, to get your users. Um, getting your performance insight, also getting trend discovery, meaning like you would see if your game or if the way that you're processing your, your marketing is uh, aligned with the actual trend of the market, meaning like if you are if you are fit with what is actually the the trend and the and the base on the market side, regarding your uh, typ t your type of game or your type of app, and also the multi-touch influence analysis, it's trying to get uh, I will go later on, on on it, but it's really having the broadest spectrum of where you're g you're getting your marketing and not only like the last click but also real understanding where you put your ads and uh, in which environment so really um if you want to understand your your attribution and where you're getting your your users it's good to for you to understand um the whole spectrum from the impression to click um, and then seeing where you're getting your um, your exposure and when you're getting your install at what time at what moment and how many times you're getting like your your ad exposed is that clear for you <laughs> yeah cool really if it's not clear please let me know and then I I'll go like either like higher level or go like a deeper level Just to uh, to refine to uh, get like a little bit deeper into your configurable at attribution, it's really um, applying the data learning and the the AI that we're building to optimize your constellation and obvious settings. So really getting your um, getting your understanding uh, on, on where your user is coming from, and also you can actually also compare in between the paid or the paid users versus the organic channels meaning like the one that are actually coming for free right now data can come from many sources um, signals and that's like we we are have we're having like a system in which we can collect data from any any sources I mean that could be apply n it's not applying only for you but we also develop things that would go through a console even through a car anything that emit a signal we're able to collect the data and process it This is where how we actually de develop our uh, machine learning in which um, provide the decision. Um, so we collect all the data, we process it, and then we give you like a way to understand it better and then to actually organize um, your, your marketing better. So as I said, um, it's good to, to have your company isolated and to understand how your user reacts, but also it's good to compare with the actual trend and the norms within the market. Um, sitting like you need to sit like closer to the norm and then whilst you're into the norm, then you can really try to, to optimize it uh, upon your game, upon your own solution. 
But the first, first thing first is if you're far off like the norm of the market, then there's something wrong with the way that you're, you're doing your marketing. The multi-touch influence analysis. Um, again, there is no rule that one rule fits all. You're um, on mobile. We have like this last click for attribution, meaning like you would attribute to the last click. But you're, it's good for you to understand who else or who are the other network that influences that had influence on your on on your install. Meaning like if you have another network that has that applies and appears a lot of clicks and put like a lot of like attention, that you might want to still put your money with them. So that means like it's not only at the last click, but also really understand the whole spectrum and uh, understand who are the best partners to work with. And then instead of having 100, but maybe having 10, but like the 10 that all really matters. Now, we talk about like the, uh, the, the attribution, meaning like the user acquisition, but past the user acquisition, there is also how you keep your user engaged and how you increase the LTV. And, and then the obviously we can use this data to do it and uh, collecting uh, data upon events or upon signal. That means like you could create any, any event or any signal within your app or within the game as much as many as, as much as you want and then collecting those data to, to actually understand the, the user journey and the user behavior and um, how you can actually even optimize your game. Let's say you have like your own KPIs and we would also help you to understand the KPIs within your game. But um, let's say your user, when they're stuck at level two, and then you know that if they pass level two, they would go to level five. You really have to help them to pass it to level two, whatever, whatever it takes or how, whatever your, your the solution are, it's, it's mostly a game. So it's w one of the thing, but uh, also sometimes for some games, it's like what pulls the trigger is if they if they release the second um, purchase. You know that if they say they're having the second purchase, then they would go. They would, you would keep them for six months because you have those those data collected. Then you also have to pull to use the the system in a way that you're uh, there's a call to action once you reach this this critical point of the or level within the game. And they're also good to do A/B testing, so um, testing different uh, different uh, options within the game, collecting the data, and, and, uh, and analyze them. So all those has been um, really put uh, in, uh, in partnership with, uh, with Unity. So uh, Kachava right now, we, are, we, are like the, the partner we partner with Unity, and we'll be on, on the asset store. So we, we will offer you all these tools. I mean, this is like a, the traditional, like classical, like user journey, um, starting with like the views, the clicks, the install, then the user complete level one, for instance, or I mean, they would s then the user, um, he put like th the tokens in the cart, but then drops. There is like, if, if we analyze like the right, then you will know where they drop, how they drop, and then you, you can create, uh, you can create um, either a messenger system or something with your marketing to actually go against it and increase and do like the post engagement activity. And you could do it through like pulling a trigger through like in-app message, through like an SMS, or through like different ways to connect with them. And we have the tool as well for that. That can be comfortable, configured directly within the system. The precision targeting. Um, again, the more data you collect, the better you will understand your users. But also, we can also help you to enrich this this this. Um, this knowledge, while we're, we can create cohorts of users, then you can test, and then you can send it to your activation partners, and then, uh, and then see wi which one reacts better, and uh, upon like the user ID that we are collecting. 
So not only we have the attribution system or a measurement analytics system, but also we have a DMP, so a database management system in which we will have also uh, feed you with data. So to summarize, you guys should, should be focusing on developing your own game, developing the best product, but also once you're on the market, please get the data to work for you. Don't like don't treat data as, as something like there's has no like no meaning or whatever. It's really, really, really important for you guys to to understand your data and to actively and uh, really manage them in the most effective way. Whatever you you want to do with it, it's um, there's a way to to uh, to use them. Either on the marketing side, and then like to uh, produce your game. Either like to uh, to relaunch a game. Um, there's ways to do it. So as I said, um, we are now like uh, available on the Unity Asset Store. Um, we have a booth here. Um, we are we're here to uh, to uh, to talk to you, to help you, uh, to help you work with your data. Um, so feel free to stop by my booth. Um, we're over there. Um, if you have questions, please feel free.